Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an Asus gaming laptop. Hope that you can see on the top right corner, there is a crack lying right there. Okay, so there was the crack coming from the top right corner and then you go all the way down. Um, I know that the camera is hard to pick in that, that is the spot right there. Okay. So let me go ahead and identify the model here. If you turn it around, take a look at the back of the laptop, you should be able to see GX502L. That is the model of this Asus gaming laptop. Here I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. This is the PH0. That is the size of the, drill, uh, the, uh, the screwdriver head. All right, so what I like to do is to disconnect the battery before we remove the screen. Let's go ahead and remove some of the screws here. So there are four screws right in the middle. And I'm trying to remove the rest of other screws just to get to the uh, the battery. I would like to know how the battery is located. Hopefully I can show it to you guys. Do not mix match the screw. Apparently it looks like the screws are not the same. At the bottom right corner, that screw is not coming off which is fine, that's how they built it. So when you unscrew and you hear the clicking noise coming from the screw, that means you have reached its limits and you should stop at that moment. The one at the bottom left corner, it does come off. The one here at the bottom left, that does come off. All right, the two more to go. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Alright, so this one, you just kind of slide it away from your body. So you see the little clipper, the, the, those are the ones that slide in here. To remove, you just slide it away. And you can only see the um, CPU fan. I guess this is where you can dust it off and clean it off. What else do I have? more screws to remove that's what it looks like so here comes the internal part of it the internal screw let me switch it over to ph1 that is the uh, screwdriver head. The PH1 is a lot bigger. It seems like the screw here is much bigger. So switching it over. All right, so the internal part has one, two, three, four, five screw. And let's see if we can start prying open. So that screw right there, when you unscrew it, it doesn't come off at the bottom right. The reason for that is it kind of um, pushes out the back cover. So that is the reason for that screw. It separates the back cover for you to get in underneath and remove the back cover just like that. All right, right now you can see that the internal part of the computer just kind of quick walkthrough, RAM, CPU, fan, heatsink, M.2 drive is here, and that is the battery connector. What you want to do, you want to push the clipper. Let me do it again for you here. 
if you take a closer look that clipper right there you're going to push it away now you can lift the battery connector up just like that okay so you just connect the battery now we are going to replace the screen let's go ahead and see what i can do here i prefer to replace it from the front rather than the full assembly screen so i'm getting myself a plastic prying tool go underneath the bezel you just have to uh, push it a little bit pry it open so the bottom part here is actually double-sided tape it tapes onto the bezel so I'm using the metal prying tool to cut off that adhesive tape I might not have the right screen in stock at the moment but at least I'll try the process to show it to you on how to do that screen replacement okay in fact I need to find out the serial number as well okay so at this point we just remove the entire bezel by cutting through that bottom adhesive tape the tape is right there running across the bezel we just removed it, save the bezel here on the side. Now here comes the LCD screen. What I like to do is, if you take a closer look, you can see that there's a black tape right here at the bottom right corner. Okay, and there's one here at the bottom left corner. That is what we identify as the adhesive tape where you need to pull the tape down like so. Okay, just pull it down. Try not to break it. And this tip can go really long. Okay, once you have pulled off that tape, let's put it on the side. We're gonna throw that away. We cannot reuse that adhesive tape. Now do the same on the other side. I'm holding the screen because this is the last tip to pull and I do not want to yank the screen down towards my body. Okay, so once you have done pulling the two tape, your screen should come right off. I'm just lifting it up, tuck it underneath and lift it up, tilting towards my body. Here, there is a connector, the clipper. Always use a plastic tool, although you disconnect the battery, but I do not want you to use the metal. You want to use a plastic tool, get a good habit of that, and see if you can flip open the clipper. Alright, there you go. Let me show you the closer look here. So that that metal that metal um clipper you're supposed to flip it open like such, okay? 
the entire metal clipper open it up once it's open slide it away from your body and that would remove the entire lcd all right so that is the lcd replacement screen if you're not sure where to buy the screen uh, take a closer look here it does say something like b156 h a n 12.0 okay that is the model of the lcd screen and b156 h a n 12.0 Okay, so what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below where it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay for the replacement screen in this uh, for this model. So, and the next thing you need to do is to purchase the double-sided adhesive tape. This is 5 millimeter, 5 mm. What you want to do is, let me put the screen away. What you want to do is you want to install along these two lines here. So you want to cut it like such, okay? And then make sure you have enough tape covering on the hinge so that the next person um, who replaced the screen, they know where to pull that tape from for the next time, okay? So like such. Okay, let's tape it down. And you want to do the same on this side. Now I do not have the screen with me because the I need to check on the serial number. So I do not have the screen for this for this laptop. Okay, so again, you need to buy this tape. It doesn't come with the screen. And again, I'll link it down in the description below. All right, um, let's see, do I have the screen? What screen is this? So this is a different screen. I'm not able to install it. Okay, so anyway, assuming that the new screen comes in, this is the old screen, but I'm just saying, assuming that the new screen comes in, okay? You just want to do the reverse process by installing the clipper. Okay, just push it in, clip it down, peel the tape, align the screen, tip it down nicely. So you need to align the screen, tip it down nicely, put the bezel back on top, and then all the screw to cover up the bottom bottom case of your laptop uh, that should pretty much it I apologize that I do not have the screen with me um, to show it to you the end process but it's just a reverse process um, hopefully that helps all right again I um, appreciate you for watching the video if you do find this video is helpful and if it does help you to change out the screen please give me a like that's all I'm asking uh, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe any question comment down below i do answer those questions and i look forward to your next video until next time bye now